In this lab, you will be separating two transition metal complexes based on their charges. To separate them, you will be using sodium chloride solutions that have varying concentrations, from 0 to 5 molar. Assemble the microscale's chromatography kit. Make sure the stopcock is in tightly, and also make sure that there is a frit in the plastic stopcock. Fill the column with about 2 centimeters of deionized water, then locate the bottle of cation exchange resin. Since the resin settles in its solution, swirl and agitate the bottle until the resin is evenly distributed in the solution again. Then, pipette some of the solution into the column. While making sure that the solution does not settle, continue loading your column until you have 2 to 3 centimeters of resin. Then allow the water to drain to settle the resin. This is also called packing the resin. To speed up the water, connect the plastic Y joint to the top of the column, then connect it with a tube to the nitrogen outlet. Make sure the stopcock is open. Slowly turn on the nitrogen, and then place your finger over the top of the other Y outlet. This creates pressure on the column that will push the water out. Be careful! If you create too much pressure, you will blow out your column and will have to start over again. You also do not want the resin to dry out. Once the solvent has reached just above the resin, add about a quarter centimeter of washed sand to the column to prevent the resin from being disturbed. Then fill the column with water. You may use the open Y joint to add liquids, but not solids. Use nitrogen again and push the water carefully through the column. You will run water through the column twice. Check the pH of your elutant once you have run the water twice. If the elutant is not neutral, run another column full of water and check again. Once the pH is neutral, lower the liquid in the column down to the sand. Then, dissolve your weighed out sample in 1 milliliter of water and add it to the column. If you cannot dissolve your sample, try crushing your sample up with a stirring rod or using more water, then add it to your column. Use nitrogen to push your sample into the sand. Carefully add more deionized water until it fills about twice as much of the column compared to the packing material. Begin to elute your material. If you begin to see something colored eluting, continue to use water. If water does not cause your compounds to elute, you will need a stronger polar compound to separate them. Begin using 0.1 molar sodium chloride. Add about twice as much sodium chloride as you have resin. If you begin to see colored bands forming in the resin, continue using 0.1 molar sodium chloride. If the 0.1 molar sodium chloride is not strong enough to separate your compounds, move up to the next concentration level and follow the same procedure. Continue to do this until you begin to see colored bands. Collect your fractions according to the colors eluting. Try to collect the most intense colors in their own test tubes, as these are your purest elutants. You will want to end up with about a half test tube of each pure color. Colorless fractions may be neutralized and discarded. Locate an Ocean Optics UV Viz spectrometer and follow the instructions to set it up for the scan from 400 to 700 nanometers. Use deionized water as a blank. Run both of your most concentrated fractions. Make sure to record the lambda max and remember to wash your analyzed material back into their respective fractions with deionized water. Now you will need to follow the procedures for quantification of unknowns. Remember, cleanup after this lab requires the metal containing solutions to be disposed of in a special container.